Yo, what's good people? It's your boy Silverstone, Mr. Levels, Mr. Transition, and you're watching The Journey with Nayoka. Make sure you keep it up and also subscribe. Hi Silverstone. Hi. Welcome to the journey. Thank you. You're welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. I'm looking forward to your show on the 14th. Are you as excited as I am? I am. Let I'm me know. So excited. Like 14th of April, mm. the live show, you know, at the O2 Islington. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be great. Live band. Plug. Yeah, Plug it. Let everyone know. you got to get your tickets. Mm -hmm. On the 14th of April, it's going to be a shutdown. I can't wait yes. to be it's completely so honest. Fun. And it's good for UK Afrobeats, you know. Definitely, That's definitely. Okay, so from the age of five, you could let's go back let's let's throw it way back so from the age of five you could play the piano yeah and i know that you were born to Ghanaian and sierra leonean parents yes now from my understanding and from my experience as well african parents aren't always really involved in nurturing their children when it comes to playing instruments in particular it's always you know study focus on that but when it comes to talents and extracurricular activities they're not as involved mm. so that passion for piano playing mm. where does it stem from your mum or from your dad neither to be honest okay um i think it just came from not having loads of toys <laughs> okay and there was a keyboard there and when i touched it it made noise so i was like oh, this is interesting. let's keep tapping that yeah, yeah so mm. i guess like <clears throat> i just started you know i found an interest in you know playing the keyboard okay but then go back to my grandfather he used nice. to play bugle okay yeah he was a king in ghana wow i did not know this no I'm aware that your dad passed on some years ago yeah, my condolences wow yeah. my goodness my condolences now did him passing on influence your music or your lyrics in any way did it change did it change you as a person it didn't influence my music mm -hmm. it influenced my thought process okay share with me um, tell me more I think that's how I got the name transitions mm -hmm. for my EP okay yeah, because you know when they told me he died like I just felt like, rah, this is this is a transition of life, mm. like, you know. So that's where I got the, the word transition for, mm -hmm. you know, my EP. But yeah, it kind of like made me think and made me realize, like, you know, whatever you want to do, you need to just do it now. Like, don't wait until tomorrow. It's not promised, you know. As we all know, but we all procrastinate at True. some point. True. But it just made me think, you know what? It doesn't matter if you're gonna fail you'll still die okay <laughs> you got <laughs> yeah. that right so that's promised to us <laughs> yeah mm. so, yeah so so if anything just try and keep trying and keep trying so that's where it kind of changed my mindset mm -hmm. on, on on allowing fear to make my decisions for me right yeah and start okay you know, my, i've got i've got a saying don't play safe play faith okay and that's what i've kind of learned from that i will use that okay now Further to transitioning, yeah. I'm aware that you performed at the Kevin Kara Karawa yeah. Leukemia yeah. Trust last year. Yeah. Okay, now I know that not a lot of Afro-Caribbeans are mm. fond of donating blood basically. 
um, and I'm not sure where that stems from I'm not sure if it's a fear but I know that they need a lot of donors because people are dying that is the reality of it all what are your thoughts on that is that something that you take to is that something I think it's very important and, and, and to do that I mean there is a lot of again because of our history of hey, witchcraft and this that and this person will come and do whatnot mm. i think that's why we don't do it okay much. okay you know it's just the education side of it but it's very important because, it is yeah you know there's so many different mixes you know i'm half Sierra Leone and half Ghanaian, and apart from you know idris elba yes i don't know who else Love is the same, yeah i don't know who's the same mix mm. so you understand so I do. it's important for us to kind of you know keep given as much as we can you understand to to these sort of organizations mm -hmm. it's, it's important you know for us as a people to have that education and that knowledge to yeah. give you know blood which is very important okay now according to bbc radio extra you were tipped to be hot for 2015 really? yes. yes and i can see why Ooh. yes i can i can how did that make you feel when you heard that i was fantastic feeling you know because I think I was the only Afrobeat artist mm. in there and I think I don't even think they had like another Afrobeat artist after you know so it was good to be in you know in that same lineup you know Stormzy was in it, it was yeah. like loads of others that's you know? huge you know yeah Rag and Bone Man mm. loads of people who are doing great things now so yeah it's it was a really good um, bold step um, mm. to for BBC One Extra to pick me. Mm. I understand there's so many people they can pick. So. True, well done, congratulations. Yes, so you've been nominated for a number of awards from BEFTAs to MOBOs to the 232 Entertainment Award in Sierra Leone, I believe. Now, if you were to create your own award ceremony yeah. and your oh, wow. own category, what do you think you should be recognized for? Hi, I would say. Oh gosh. Think know. about maybe, you. Maybe maybe a multi talented award. Mm. You know, because I, I, I play keys, I play music, I play instruments. Yes. You know. But also produce, also write, also sing, you know, also DJ. Yes, wow. Stand, you are multi talented. Like, and stuff like that. Okay. So I think maybe an award like that because I feel Especially in this in this game, like it's mm -hmm. like, ah, it should be a jack of all trades. But the way I see it is, I love learning new things. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll get new cameras, I'll get new equipment, I'll get new, you know, new gadgets, just to kind of keep myself learning things. Right. You know, I don't want to always just be like, okay, this is what I like, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I feel like you have to always learn and educate yourself. Okay. You know, musically, just whichever way. You know, mm -hmm. it's important. I like that. Yeah, so Multi-talented Okay, that's okay. So you started out as a producer, mm -hmm. and then you started singing as well. I know you're famous for producing Uncle Obama for Sister Deborah. Yeah. You've collaborated yeah. with Sarkodie. When did you really decide to start focusing on you as an artist? Um, I think just before Transitions came out. Okay. Because I felt um, I just had this itch. I, I felt it was a natural progression, but I was scared to do it. Mm. You know, because I was thinking, ah, I work with so as a producer, I'm working with so many great singers, you know, amazing artists, rappers, and I'm thinking, ah, am I as good as them? What am I gonna do? Blah blah blah. So a lot of it was fear, but yeah, I had to make that bold step. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to um, play faith. You understand you definitely have done that yeah because because being safe was being stayed as a producer mm. okay so yeah it was and i'm so happy i did it you understand because i've been able to see so much achieve so much more you know and work with so much other people as well yeah yeah in different lights now so. incredible yeah. incredible you produced music that was featured in the hollywood movie the good life yeah. And Reese Witherspoon was in that movie. She was one of the actresses, and that is huge. But I never hear you talk about it, tweet about it. I mean, some people will carry that everywhere and shout it. You know, shout at the top of their lungs, lungs about it. So why isn't that something you do? Do you not believe it's a great achievement? I, that's just one of many. Mm. And I feel that 
okay, I guess a lot of people say I should do that more. But sometimes I feel I want to keep myself hungry. Okay. Keep, you know, because I've been blessed to do music for a Nelson Mandela um, documentary, obviously that, you know, what with different art and Mark Morrison and Ace Hood and loads of different huge artists. Mm. But I still feel that, you know, I want to stay hungry, I want to stay pushing, I want to stay, you know, striving because sometimes when you see those achievements, you're like, oh, okay, and you start to kick back. Mm. You say, ah, I'm good now, nah, I've done this now. Nah. Don't you know who I am? I've done that, 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 that. And that's, so that's not cool. you. Mm. Yeah, so like for me, I like, I like the hunger. I like the okay. What can we do? What more can we do? How yeah. more can we push? Mm -hmm. so it's very important for me to kind of keep that. That the accolades are great. Yeah, I love them. And we I all do. Take, eh? Yeah, I take time <laughs> to thank God for them. But you know, I feel it's like what's next. Okay, I like that. When you write your song lyrics, mm -hmm. yeah, do you choose to draw on your emotions? Because for some people. The connection between the emotion and the song lyrics is so much that they feel overwhelmed and it's not something they want to do. They would rather kind of keep it above water, keep it a little superficial. What about you? Do you like to connect emotionally or do you like to just produce good music for people to dance to? 100% I like to connect emotionally. Not like, I'm, I'm a worshipper, yeah? So I'm, I like to connect with emotions. Nice. It's very important. So I feel with my music that is like paramount for me. The emotion has to be correct. So you could be angry, you could feel sexy, mm. you feel love. As long as the emotion, that emotion is there. Yes. If it's just no emotion, then I don't like it. So it's very important for me to connect emotionally. I like that. All the music I do. Okay. I was going to ask you where you see yourself in the next three to five years but I want to talk about next year because people are always focusing on the future and that's great but we're here in the present and we're working towards something so let's talk about the next year where do you see yourself wow um, on tour um, new EP nice um, more music more mm. visuals um, I'm also building my white hut so I, I own a recording studio yes white I'm aware studios, okay and I have an educational part of it nice which is white hut in, in education where I go to schools and colleges and you know um, that's amazing yeah. well done to you thank you so me and my business partner we go to all these different places build songs for kids help them to produce and all of that so I want to take that further as well great you understand because I feel as an artist it's very important to give back True. and find another way to kind of like help the next generation you understand so whether it be through making music or giving them advice or going to perform for them you know so that's another side of what I'm building which is really like really really important to me I'm really glad to hear that because you're a role model, you're influential. Yeah, we have to be because yeah. like, you know, when I was growing up and even before I took music so seriously, I didn't really have a role model. So my role models were all like, you know, Dr. Dre, you know, mm. Snoop Dogg, this, you know, American Yeah. Guys. But I've never, never, never been able to meet them, talk to them, you know, sit down. So like, I wanted to build and then when I grew, grew up, like, going to different studios, like when I was going to some studios they were like really dingy and horrible, I was going to some expensive studios that were nice. Yeah. So my dream was always always to build a nice studio, like as much as I could afford. You understand? So I was able to do that, build a studio which is of a standard and mm -hmm. people can get there and be like, oh this place is actually nice, you know. Just for just to inspire yeah. others, you understand, and then inspire the youth as well. So bring the kids in, give them, you know, sessions, and you know, just show them that you know what we can, you can actually do better than this. Absolutely, this is what I was able to do. Mm -hmm. But you can do twice as much as this. You understand? I'm really proud and of I you. Think, yeah. Thank you, and I think it's really important because, you know, as an artist, it's not just about club music. It's no, no, absolutely not. Maybe the new, uh, <laughs> stuff, which is fantastic. Mm. However. I feel there's more that we can do for the generation to come, mm -hmm. generations mm -hmm. to come. And you understand, I feel like it's important for us to build and have, like, be the role models 
understand. And you started that, you're paving the way for others. Because yeah. I haven't heard of many artists in the UK who have their own studio. So that's an incredible yeah. achievement, you know. And you're encouraging young people, they'll be ambitious as well. Yeah. And it's amazing, well done to you. Thank you so much for your time, Silverstone. Thank you very much. I really, much. really do appreciate it. Your future is so bright. And I just encourage you to keep on shining. And Never give up. We won. You know, we're always trying to take things to another level. Mm. Which is the name of the new EP. Yes, so drop that in that. there, please. <laughs> yes. On all digital <laughs> platforms. You know, yes. make sure you come to the show. Oh, I'll be there. You know. But we're not done yet because on the show we always give our guest a gift just to say we appreciate you. Oh, Thank you so, so much nice. for your time. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a very nice person. Thank you. Is it a sweet? <laughs> no, it's not just one sweet, but this is for you. I should have wrapped it. I know, I know. Don't, don't penalize me. I didn't wrap it. I didn't wrap it. Didn't wrap it. I wanted you My to God. unravel it yourself, but this is for you. Oh, thank you so just much. Keep it on your mantelpiece, keep it next to your, your mixing table. Just I'm remember us. I'm, yes, I am going to do that. Thank you so thank much. Thank you once again for your time, Silverstone. I appreciate you. I want you. to drink it on the journey. <laughs> not right now. <laughs> on the journey home. <laughs> No drinking and driving. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're incredible. Huh. Where you should got something untouchable. Uh -huh. You want to stop us. Huh. Nobody feel tell you, say them get them past you. Oh, them get a pass you.